So a lot of people have been having performance issues with Black Ops 3 and me myself, I was trying to identify the problem. So today I did some tests and the results were pretty immediate and pretty conclusive. There are two settings in the graphics option menu which are causing horrible stuttering and they are order independent transparency and subsurface scattering. So I want you guys to turn these settings off if you wanna have a good gameplay experience in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now today I'll also talk about my optimal settings and a little bit more on performance issues and maybe what Treyarch could do to improve this game. So let's talk about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech yes City. This is Brian coming back to you guys today with a little discussion on the Black Ops 3 performance issues. Now, in the past, this has been known recently for us to get a release on PC with the COD series and it have performance issues. And I'm kind of a bit over it. I wish Treyarch, here's a message to you guys if you're making these games. Just take these settings completely out of the fucking game. Like seriously, no one, I think I speak on behalf of every PC player here, but no one wants horrid stuttering in your games. Now, the good thing about Black Ops 3 is that you can turn the settings down a little bit or turn off the culprit settings and the game will run as smooth as butter, which is a good thing. So if I had to say when Ghost was released, this didn't happen. You would even turn it down to medium, low, turn everything off, the game would still stutter. So at least with Black Ops 3, you have the option there to have a smooth gameplay experience. But I will emphasize that one more time. Treyarch, just remove these settings completely. The auto tra independent transparency and also the subsurface scattering, just remove them. They're causing, clearly they're causing big issues in the game at the moment on the PC. Just get rid of them. Everyone will be happy at the moment. And also, there's another thing I want to talk about, and that's the extra textures and the extra shadow quality. Now, with these two settings, I found that they did tax the VRAM a hell of a lot, especially at 4K. I got like an increase of like almost over 1.5 gigabytes of VRAM being used over high settings. And I didn't notice much of a fidelity increase there in the graphics. So what I'm recommending to people is if you want to play this game, especially at 4K, just drop the settings down to high and sort of turn off all these other tweaked settings. I'll give you guys a look at my tweaked settings here and the game will be as smooth as butter at 4k and it will look really good now i don't know if you want to take these settings down to 1080p or 1440p as well but i'm guessing that they will run really well at those resolutions as well so if you want the best sort of optimized settings for playing black ops 3 at the moment then these are my settings here. It's generally high across the board with all the extra crap turned off. And then you've got SMAA at one speed because I play at 4K. If I'm dropping it down to lower resolutions, I'll probably put that on two speed. So there you generally sweet spot settings in terms of the graphics menu. Now for input lag on the mouse, I turn mouse acceleration off. I mean, I shouldn't have that. You shouldn't have that going on in your game. Anyway, I've got my mouse speed at probably about four and a half there, and that seems to do me fine. Uh, you, you know, you're welcome to try out your mouse uh, settings, but I generally have, I'm having no problems with input lag. I'm finding the game very responsive. Keep in mind though, I do turn off V-Sync and G-Sync on this game, and I also set my pre-rendered frames Good. to one. And that yeah, I mean, that, but, I mean, you know, they might not even give you an offer. Game. Though one thing I will lastly touch on is the server side issues as well. I noticed yesterday that there was some big lag issues, but I'm guessing that's because I'm probably connecting maybe to someone else's computer as I noticed one of the players had a in, had a ping of zero so I'm guessing that sometimes people will be able to host these servers from the player base and that means that you'll get input lag so don't confuse that with stuttering that's a different thing I mean the graphics or the actual hardware side of things where things are stuttering is different to server side or input lag and that and when this when these pings were going terrible I was getting some like you know teleporting and all that crazy stuff that comes with it so don't confuse that kind of stuttering with hardware based stuttering which is what we're looking at today but hopefully on the server side of things things will get pretty uh, I mean I imagine that they'd be fixed up I mean I've only had that happen once so it depends on where you live in the internet connections and whatnot but I'm sure this is no different to every other game in that regard but honestly for what it's worth, Treyarch, I'd like to see you fix these things ASAP and really make this game an enjoyable experience for PC players as we do have a lot of faith 
in the Treyarch side of things when it comes to COD. Anyway guys, I hope this has solved some of your problems. If it has, please give this video a big fat like and I'll be coming back to you guys with more tech news and reviews. And if you haven't already subscribed to Tech Yes City, baby, peace out for now.